So we were doing a clinic at the Monte Vista campus and um, we just about finished the clinic and we were just sitting there and this lady just walked in, beautiful old lady with a walker and she'd been brought in by her neighbour who heard about the clinic. She wanted to come in because she'd had a wound that wasn't healing for two years after she had a car accident. And as she came to sit at my table, one of the local pastors recognised her from previous dealings with her um, and he knew that she'd been involved in witchcraft. And so straight away, before we even started seeing to her medically, we knew that we had to get rid of this. And he knew that she had a witchcraft charm around her waist and straight away sent someone to get some scissors so we can cut that thing off. And he made her cut it off herself. It's a symbol of, I'm doing this, not somebody else is doing this for me. She also had rings that were given by witch doctors um, for her, so we had to remove those as well. And so in that moment, we, we got the team together and we started praying for her. And so we first of all led her to Christ and she said the prayer of salvation. We prayed for healing, we prayed for deliverance. And in that moment, as everybody got together, we just burst out in spontaneous worship. And it was just amazing to see, to feel the presence of God in that moment. Everybody that was in the clinic waiting for food, waiting to be seen by the doctor, everybody stopped what they were doing and we were just praising God. I'm still, even getting goosebumps now just thinking about it. It was just amazing. And so in that moment we know that that lady was set free. She was saved, she was healed and she was set free. And she could enjoy spending time with us and with Jesus. <laughs> 